Hello and welcome to my Andy's Christmas adventure. Uh, let's take a look at see what kind of events I'm going to be attending for the end of the year. So uh, first one, Winter Wonderland. Let's go and see what rides they have. Let's go. There's another thing you can do. It's like a fun house. They've got like a brand new police department fun house. So I'm going to try and go through and see what I can do. Time to get cleaned up. It's pretty good. <laughs> So I've done a Helter Skelter and now I'm going to try this new VR ride called Dr. Archibald. Uh, haven't done it but from what I've seen online it should be quite interesting. Not only is it really well themed, it's a VR thing but it's also got some kind of elements of one of these kind of fun houses so I'm going to go in and check it out. Let's do it. This is an interesting one. This is uh, the Magical Ice Kingdom lots of ice sculptures in here and that every year it's a different theme and it's all magical it's like characters made out of ice let's go in and have a look the witch's cavern wow let's have a look at this it's an entire castle made out of ice oh and there's a bird that's great i'll take a few clips have a look freezes her victims, look. All the bones of different things that have been frozen. <laughs> Scary. So this one should be quite fun. An actual ice slide. So let's give this one a go. Right, so I've got my hoop, got my safety helmet, and now I'm about to try and do this slide. Looks good, let's give it a go. Okay, this is looking interesting. It's time to go down the slide. That was good. Let's do it again. Okay, time to do it the second time. And this time, I'm not going to make a sound. No screaming for me. Let's do it. We're going to go around. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm not going to make a sound. Wonderland. We're getting ready for our next attraction. Let's go. So for my second event, I am doing Back to the Future, the exhibition. Let's go check out what items they have from the movies. Let's go.
your hands. That's like a baby's toy. Oh. Why, why not doing it properly? Okay, I guess I'm not that good at it. <laughs> So just outside the Back to the Future exhibition, you've got Babylon Park in Camden, which is basically an indoor theme park. Kind of replaced the Chocadero that used to be in Piccadilly Circus. So I'm gonna have a quick look around. Let's go. It's good to see they got the latest games here. Drop ride, got a little roller coaster that goes along here. It's quite interesting. And some games. But now I'm gonna go and check out some Christmas lights. So let's go check that out. Yeah, Hungry Camden Market is always the place to come and have a look for a few snacks. So. We are at Christmas at Kenwood and we're going to be checking out some Christmas lights. So let's get into the festive mood and check out some lights. Let's go. That's a really magical effect. <laughs> I bought a marshmallow and I'm going to toast it on the fire. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's try this cremated marshmallow. Nice. Mm. <laughs>
so that was Christmas at Kenwood. Hope you enjoyed it. Now it's time to go to our next attraction, which will be something that we visited during Halloween. But now it has a bit of a Christmassy twist. Let's go and check it out. So I'm back at Phantom Peak for their Christmas edition called Winter Mass. So I'm going to try and do some Christmassy quests. Looking at the map, it looks like they've opened up a brand new section. So hopefully I'll come across that along the journey. And uh, they said that they've captured uh, Father Platmus, who is some sort of burglar. So it's kind of like a Father Christmas character. And they love platypuses here, so it's Father Platmus. So let's see if we come across him. Let's go and solve a quest. So I need a health and safety officer. It looks like number 42. You might not be able to see that on there. But number 42 is 42. It's right here. Yes, okay, great. So, you're cracking down on uh, presents? It, no, 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 it's an uh, unauthorized gift giving. There's oh, a slight okay. problem here in town. Um, look, the only person who's authorized in Phantom Peak to deliver presents this time of year is, of course, Father Platmus. However, Jonico have uh, decided in their wisdom that perhaps someone breaking into your domicile uh, without your permission illegally via a chimney and leaving behind unsolicited packages is illegal and weird. Uh, as such, uh, Father Platmus is behind bars, which is debatable as to where they belong, but that means no one's delivering presents this time of year. Someone still is. Without a license, without embargo, breaking all the rules, we've got a copycat psychopathic gift giver on our hands, and if they're not put a stop to, Lord knows what's going to happen. We've got all these packages turning up over town, don't know what's inside them, I'm not opening this until I know it's safe. Now, if you want to do some detective work, I need you to get in the mind of this copycat site, which means I need to get into the mind of the person they're copycatting. Copycatting? I guess that's the word, I'm not sure. If you go to a videomatic and type in 5110, you might be able to learn more about Father Patmos and the way he works and the way he operates, and then get in the mind of this copycat. But keep this quiet, okay? I don't want people in town knowing that Wintermas is at stake and everything could go wrong. I've had a lot of caffeine, I need to calm down, but I'm nervous, it's fine. Have a look at that video, 5110, and see what you can find out. We'll get back to you. Okay, amazing. Thank you very much. No Thank you. So we need to find a videomatic. 5110. Let's try and solve this mystery. Astonishing powers is terrorizing Phantom Peak, and it is in former mayor and current corpse, Dr. Joy S. Burbish. It is, of course, Father Platmus, and he is full of the milk of Wintermas indecency. Thanks to the miracles of Jonico science, the fattened man has been captured and his slain. His weapon of mass delivery, confiscated 
a preemptive strike against wanton generosity. The world is safe in Jonas. We trust. Okay, so let's uh, see what the question was that uh, the Jonas app was asking me. Man has been captured and his slave, his weapon of mass delivery, confiscated. Okay, so I need to go to the Winterless Grotto. This is the brand new area that they've opened up. This is quite exciting, so let's go and check it out. And I think it is right here. Slay? Is that my slay? <laughs> I wouldn't be seen dead in that. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's one of those ones for just bombing down, you know, with a gravity on your side. No, no, no. This, this is a proper bit of kit oh, right wow. here. Okay. Oh, yes, absolutely. Now, this, you know, it's not much use at the moment, but I can assure you, strapped to four strapping platypi. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> uh, it can do. You know, a, a lot of speed, a lot of speed. I've never actually clocked it, but uh, you know, okay. you can get around the world in one <laughs> night. So, yeah. There we go. So, is mm. there anything that's uh, like a special word or something that's associated with your sleigh? A special word associated, I say. Associated? No one's associated. We're weirdly connected. Yes. It? Possibly. I suppose I, I couldn't see it myself. You know, you, you know, you see things for, you know, for ages, and you, you, you forget they're there, really, don't you? Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Oh, that word right there! Oh, yes! Uh, a tau! 15th letter of the Greek alphabet. Oh, wow. Just like it. You know, some people go for alpha, some people go for omega. Omicron is very much not <laughs> in fashion nowadays, but you know, tau. Love it. All right. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you very much for your help. Pleasure. No problem. <laughs> See you. Happy with you. You're going to get me out, right? I'll, I'll come back soon. Oh, soon. Yes. I'll yeah. see if I can find the key. The case the joint. Oh, oh, good idea. Yes, that's right. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look around. So, Tau is the answer. I'm not sure what else we've got over here. It's quite nice. It looks like we've got a little Christmassy shop. Alright, so let's type in Tau and see what happens. Okay, looks like we need to go to Spectre and Vox and uh, use that <laughs> Stargate thing to try and find out what's going on. I thought that was only for Halloween, but it looks like it's still here for Christmas. Let's go and find out what Tau means and what is, what is Platinus? That's interesting. Let's go check it out.
be very soon. Thank That's you. Like the jacket, by the way. Thank you, Supreme. Ah, good. Glad to hear it. Oh, oh folks, you're right. Ah, it's a perfect symbol. Yeah. Have you used one of these before? He's going to use them this time. Right. Oh, awesome. Awesome. We're bringing them in. Uh -huh. So these are a way to use them. So, um, the mir Mystic Mirror has told me that Father Platmus might be a god. Ah, Do you know any yes. information about that? Is anyone here interested in this Father Platmus business because it's a bit of an area of expertise of mine and myself? But, uh, my working theory is that he's a god, but the current state of affairs in the Wintermus Grotto has made me a bit uh, doubtful of that. I mean, you've seen him there. He's currently uh, imprisoned. And either Jolico have the ability to ensnare a god or... They might have just hired someone to dress up as Father Blackness to kind of give themselves the uh, boasting exercises. But I have been wrong about this kind of uh, thing before. But recently I received a package, uh, something that looks like Father Platmus's work, except one thing is different. Uh, this is the package here. Um, uh, it's got all the trimmings of a regular Father Platmus gift, except for this. Uh, this is a um, Jonah Post receipt. Um, Jonah Post Littlefield, who runs the thing, they're a bit more, uh, they're very kind, but maybe they're not the most competent person to uh, run an operation as big as Wintermas for Father Platinus. So, something's wrong with this. Uh, if you want to look into this, I'd recommend you head to the Jonah Post and ask them about uh, EX151. Now, Littlefield is, um, it's very easy to get them to do what you want. You just say you're their friend and they'll really do anything. No privacy breaches, anything like that. But uh, if you do receive any packages like these yourselves, I'd recommend that holding off on opening them until you find the um, sender, as it were. Uh, best of luck out there, all right? Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you. you Let's right? go and find that. Yeah. for um, information about a parcel that's been delivered EX151. This sounds like official news. <laughs> uh, can you tell me who would have delivered that or who would have sent it? <laughs> no. Oh, thank you. What's this? Please. No. Let's try to find out some information. Live in the present moment. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> okay, I might have to stop this now. So. Okay. I don't know what's up. BX151. Ah, yes. Those pesky parcels going to sound up. <laughs> See? The ladies want to be hard. Ah yes, a yellow box in the house, or the general store, or the general store. No. <laughs> Thank you very much. Boxing gloves, general store. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So it said boxing gloves in the general store. Let's see if we can find this. Uh, I've been told something about boxing gloves in the general oh, store. Yes, yes, I did sell some. I'm uh, out of stock right now, but. Do you know who sold it and so? I do, but I can't tell you that. Oh. It would defeat the point of a gift. Oh, I see. I know. But I can tell you. Yeah. All the posts in this town go through Littlefield. Oh, yes. And I mean, 
bless his heart, he's terrible at <laughs> The only time I've ever seen him trying to deliver the post, actually. He was running by with a stack of gifts, yeah. and he tripped, and he fell, and there were parcels in the canal, and they were in the Jonagraph, and they were hitting Ender in the face, and he left this right here. I think it's a gift tag. Okay. I cannot make heads or tails of it, and I keep waiting for him to come back to collect it, but I don't think he's even noticed it's gone. Okay. I think it might be a code. Okay. I'm terrible with codes, personally. Sure. I would actually recommend taking a picture of it, although it sure. does look like you're using your Jenna box. That's right. <laughs> so, remembering it somehow. Okay. And then I think there might be a way to decode it down in the Winter Mist Grotto. Okay. Yes, I I don't go down there. Tomty's down there, and it's sure. we don't need to start that. But okay. that would probably be the best place to look. All right. I'll All head right. down there now. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And you didn't hear this from me. Yeah. Did you consider there might be more than one person in town sending gifts? <gasps> Okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you for the clue. Of course. Thank you. Merry winter, miss. Thank you. I need to head to the Winter Mass Grotto and try and solve a cipher. I feel I'm getting close. So here we go, Winter Mass Grotto. Something about season five or something. So let's take a look, see if we can find it. take a photo of that and then I'm going to try and decode it so let's try and work on it. That's nice to go to the Genograph Center. Let's do that. Hello. Hello, welcome. May I assist you with something? Uh, we been told to come to the Genograph Center. Ah, uh, to what end? To find out some information about something. Alright, I'm not sure. Be a little bit more specific than that. Okay. Genograph is where we make long range communication so you can contact anyone all across the ridge. Okay. Uh name is number six. I shall read out the code for number six for you. You can press the buttons. Okay. Boat. Boat. Atmos. Atmos. Mountain. Mountain. Atmos. Atmos. Now you need their initials. Uh Mountain, mountain. 
N is platypus. Vote, vote, vote. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> my name who told you N navis oh okay that's fine yes 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 any information it's novice you by the way novice sorry yes, sorry yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes it's fine we all have quite interesting names here mm -hmm. uh, novice sent you you say yes is yes, everything all right how are they do i was hoping to ask you i don't know i haven't spoke to them in ages are you sure yes because i was in a communication with her recently and she seemed to have get got cut off and she mentioned your name as if you were not knocking on the door no, no, I've been here all day attending my shop, but that is uh, a bit alarming. Um, why don't you uh, come here just for a moment, all right? Just there so nobody can see me. I don't care if they see you. Um, last I spoke to novice, uh, I was telling them about a uh, secret uh, shadowy organization that seems to be uh, running around town. They select a target, follow them until they're completely and utterly alone, and when nobody else is around to hear them scream, BAM! <laughs> yes, yes, they give him a gift. <laughs> Terrifying, right? Yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> it was very scary stuff. I was looking into it myself, but I decided I'd let sleeping dogs lie, uh, lest I myself be given a gift. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, you're a tourist. You're expendable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, if you care to know more, put yourself at the risk of a gift, uh, you can go next door. Uh, I saw on the wall of the Jonah Post there was a list, a hit list. It seemed to have the name of these gift recipients. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much. Go, go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Next door is a hit list. Okay. That's next door. Wonder if this is it. Let's see what the uh, app is saying. If you care to know more, put yourself at the risk of a gift. Uh, you can go next door. Uh, I saw on the wall of the Jonah Post there was a list, a hit list. Okay, so <laughs> next time I need to go back to the Jonah post and ask him. He's quite reluctant for me to film, so I'm going to try and see what I can get. But if he doesn't let me film, I'll let you know what happens. Let's find out who's left on the hit list. Let's go. <laughs> Right? If it's not Jonas Sanchez, then uh, yes, the post is not about. Right? So my investigation. Okay, good, 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 good. So I've, what I found out is that um, 
the gift of, of that, the, the evidence box that you've got there is actually a gift for you. There isn't a villain that's targeting you. It's actually a secret Santa gift just for you. So, Wait, so, so, so there's, not a, there's not a crazy... No, no, thing. not at all. So someone's actually just made a secret gift for you. Okay. So it's all good. Okay, let's go. Let's have a little investigation of this. If right. you're sure. Yes. Yes. Let's have, let's have a look. Follow me. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sure it's safe? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, it hasn't exploded. That's no, a good it's sign. not ticking either. Okay, you you're gonna look first because I'm. All right. I'm, I'm doing it for safety purposes. Okay. Sure. Sure. Let's take a look. Oh wow! Well, so good is it? Safe? It's lovely. I think you're gonna love it. Santa Peak is a perfect place for the <laughs> You've got to replace them every year because otherwise they get damaged. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Okay, uh, but it wasn't there's, um, this way. There's, a, there's a smidge of a chance that I took this too far. Um, <laughs> I maybe have got a bit excited. Look, the winter is stressful. Everyone's running around. I drink copious amounts of caffeine. I, I will. I will rescind the gift giving ban because it's, it's clearly safe yes. and well meaning, and I want it. Which is a big deal. Um, yes, I, I, will, I will rescind the ban. Okay, fantastic. I would also like to give you a, a winter. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank, you um, really thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Very thank you. Bye. There you go. So completed a quest and I got the card to complete the quest. So it's all good. So that's good. So I'm not going to film any more quests. <laughs> I'm going to start doing some more quests without filming them. And uh, <laughs> Phantom Peak is going on with Wintermas. So come on down and enjoy <laughs> during December and a little bit of January. Um, but what I will show you is probably what happens right at the end because it's supposed to be a little Christmassy party at the end. So let's have a look to that. Let's go. There you go. Managed to uh, complete five quests. It was all good. Really enjoyed it.
Uh, Aaron entered a raffle, didn't win, but it doesn't matter. It was a really good time. So that's it. That's the end of uh, Andy's Christmas adventure. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time. Have a Merry Christmas and a fantastic New Year. Until next time, goodbye.